Insurance is dying. Are you what, talking what, about what's a new your program? assessment now? What's what exactly is your assessment of the NDC government? as far as the economy is concerned. I think I don't need to tell any Ghanaian, we live it. Every Ghanaian today can know or knows whether we are doing well or not. I don't need to tell everybody. We are at the most difficult phase in our recent history. But, but to this t extent, the, 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 the NPP had a full term of eight years, two terms of eight years. We currently can only say the NDC has had five years I'm not going to qualify whether just or so much. Is there a justification for a comparative analysis? If you want to do a four-year analysis, we have the information available. At the end of our four years, we have laid a solid foundation with results that were manifested. People can see there was an, an aura aura of a nation going somewhere in this country. Foreigners come and you see that this nation is moving. Ghanaians themselves felt like we are going somewhere. Everywhere, infrastructural projects, schools, name it, you can feel it. I think if we want to be honest with ourselves, there has been a significant slowdown. People who were so optimistic and enthusiastic about our future and about the prospects of us emerging as a high middle income country today, we say that there are challenges. The World Bank has come to say it. IMF has come to say it. The Minister of Finance himself, he has come to say it. But the most important voice are not these voices. What does the ordinary Ghanaian say? And but if with you a go, diverse, they will tell you. With a diverse and rich resource base, don't you think there's just that big light at the end of the tunnel? There will be light at the end of the tunnel, not by chance. It only happens with program. It happens with planning. It happens with effective execution. Otherwise, why would Africa be the poorest continent in the world? We have more resources than every other continent, and we are poor. So the contradiction is just massive. So I'm not about to believe that because you have resources, there will be light at the end of the tunnel. No, it will only happen. Nothing happens by chance. It happens with visionary, selfless, dedicated, hard-working leadership. Leadership right. that is willing to do what is right for the country rather than do things that are for political convenience. Okay. In Africa, that has been our biggest problem. Effective leadership has eluded us. And this is why we are where we are. Otherwise, why should we be poor? And this we are not better than us. This, I want to believe is certainly part of the reasons why Dr. Konedu Apriko thinks he should be leading the NPP into the presidential race for 2016. And as much as we do understand, his team believes that uh, during the recent Congress, he was not really treated very well by the <laughs> delegates. Is that true, Doc? I'm not interested in that, obviously. But... Um, that's not an issue. It's a petty issue. So is that to say you agree with Sir John when he says, Sro Delegate Cheng? Oh, the uh, delegates were not doing the introduction. So our, but everybody who is in this race should be conscious of what the delegates can do. All right. So Good uh, Dr. Bad. recently had a constitutional, sorry, consultative talk, tour as well on the view of... Uh, he was collating uh, views on his intention to join the presidential race. We'd like to say thanks to you once again, Doctor, for joining us. And guess what? I, I get so thrilled and happy about each time we have the chance to invite Dr. Abreku to the studio, how he pronounces economy. Doctor, maybe you might want to give us one more chance before no. we go. Has the pronunciation changed? It's changed. Economy. <laughs> All right. Thanks once again Thank for you. joining us. Thank you. All right. I appreciate We're going on another break on this uh, celebrative mode that we're celebrating celebrating all Ghanaians. We're trying as much as possible to say in as much as we're celebrating Ghanaians, Ghanaians should be ready to give off their best as far as productivity is concerned as well for whatever negotiations we're supposed to be having on minimum wages. Solidarity messages continue. I'm going to be sharing that with you. Again, let me just say this before we go. Nanado Adodankwa Ekufado is Ghana's most influential. That has been initiated by ETV Ghana and been running for a number of years now. Nana Adodankwa Ekufado, the new Patriotic Party presidential candidate in both the 2008 and 2012 elections, has been named Ghana's most influential personality for 2013 last evening, uh, last night, 
at the Plush Moving Pig Hotel right here in Accra. The event was strictly by invitation. Unfortunately, I never had the chance to attend, but I do understand it was mesmerizing. Next year, join us once again. And as soon as we're back, I'm going to be mentioning a few people who were part of our top 50. Yeah, top 50. We'll be right back.